In this video, we'll bounce the equation for PbCO3 plus O2. This is lead to carbonate plus oxygen gas. So let's first count the atoms up and then balance the equation. We have one lead, one carbon, and three oxygens. But don't forget these two oxygens here. So we have five. Product side, three leads, one carbon, four oxygens. And again, we've got these two oxygens out here. So count those as well. I like to leave the oxygens till last when I'm balancing equations, especially when I have O2 by itself. So here I think if we put our three as our coefficient, we have one times three. That would balance the lead atoms. Carbons, one times three. That gives us three. Let's update the oxygen atoms. So we have three times three, that's nine, plus the O2 here, that's two. So we have 11. Let's put a three here. That'll balance the carbons, one times three three, that's balanced. And then for the oxygens, let's update those. Four oxygens here plus three times two, that gives us six. So we have 10. And I should put the one here. So we have nine plus two gives us 11. So we have a bit of a problem here. We have 11 oxygens here, only 10 here. So how do we do this? So one option is try to increase the size of this number here by multiplying one of these substances by two and see how that works out. Kind of a sneaky way to do it is to multiply this O2 by one half. So we're just cutting this in half. And here's what happens. Now we have three times three, that's our nine. One half times two, that's just one, and that equals 10. And this equation is balanced. And these are the correct coefficients. These ratios up here, they are correct for this equation. Some teachers, they don't like to have the fractional coefficients, but you could just multiply everything by two. So two times three is six. Two times one half, that's just one. Two times one is two, and then two times the three is six. And these are the whole number coefficients you would get if you balance the equation. If you don't do this kind of trick here, you're stuck with doubling some of these numbers here to try to increase the number of oxygens, and then that'll change these numbers, and eventually you'll come up with these coefficients here. This is just a lot faster. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for PbCO3 plus O2. Thanks for watching.